SFO's perspective, one thing we'd like to do, and we've talked to SFO about this, is providing essentially kind of an arrival board. So they know all the different transportation companies coming in. Somebody can come through the baggage claim and see a arrival board and see when is the Marriott shuttle going to be, how far is it away, when is the next rideshare shuttle, et cetera, et cetera. So all this kind of works together as one platform, and that's shuttle making. Awesome. Thank you. How are you tracking the shuttle? So these, these devices are going in the shuttle vehicles, right. and we're providing those for free to all the providers. And you're using just, sorry, you're just using the, you're using the GPS locations also to spec the, you're not using a beacon on those essentially, you're just using a device track. It's a Wi-Fi device, it's just, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's pulling, it's pulling it off the devices itself. Okay. We're, we're also looking at implementing, oh, we'll talk about the beacon. Sure, so we're looking at implementing iBeacons, uh, so we can actually provide travelers directions exactly where the shuttle's going to be. Yeah, wayfinding as well as we know where the shuttles are at the airport. And we're going to integrate it with SFO's new ground transportation management system so that we can see precisely where the shuttles are on the, on the property, not with the foot. So I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. The only question I have is, uh, do you find that you might be spreading yourself too thin by offering up the food option and or other travel so, options and not just focusing on the port? Yeah, so, so we're really focusing on the core platform. Uh, the food for food option, for instance, are with our partner, MenuMe. Uh, it's actually another startup, and they've gained a lot of traction. They have a lot of partnerships already, um, and they're looking to partner with the restaurants at SFO. So all we're doing there is a URL hook. It's, it's super simple, but I, I agree that we do need to focus on certification. But, but well. to your point, the core of this is the transportation piece. These are just show examples of other ways we can integrate. Because the idea is you're, we're, we're thinking about changing the name to Arrive. That's why we have Arrive. The idea is you're waiting, why not present some options while you're waiting and you're tracking your shuttle. Mm -hmm. Those are concepts, but our focus right now is getting the platform rolled out. Get that done. So is this something that's available today? You said that you're sort of doing this today. Yeah, so the application, the demo version of the application is available on iOS. Uh, we're using Mozio's API, uh, almost all the transportation providers around this area for booking, and then we're working with the transportation providers as well as Marriott to get these devices and all the shuttles. And it sounds like you'll be able to get to the how crowded the, the ground transportation is going to be. So you exactly. kind of know the maximum yes. capacity and you know how many people might be sort of booked. Yes. And we're working we're working on a routing system as well. So we can actually route the route the rideshare shuttles in the most efficient manner possible so we can save fuel and reduce congestion at the airport. And just real quickly about the APIs, we, we've integrated with the Concord, uh, Concord um, the MasterCard, the Zola, and the SFO. And if everyone's using this app and you know sort of the destinations of some of the people, you could sort of figure out how long it might take because you can actually exactly. have the yes. So instead of just, I'm not sure if it's an hour or two hours or three hours, you actually can get exactly. it's a fairly accurate estimate. Where, where did MasterCard show up in there? Because I didn't see So I can, I can show you. MasterCard is if you did, if you were to book. I, I, I was, I'm, I'm just ahead of you. That's I know I don't do SFP, we just want to be API. <laughs> so if you are to book, for instance, um, Say I want to spend a thousand dollars on a bus. This is, oh, sorry, it's not up there. It's <laughs> one of the options. Yeah, it's one of the, it's that's, actually, the, that's the bus to the South Fork of the Salmon River for the yeah. river rafting, right? That's an item. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can you can rent you can rent a private bus. So say um, I want to say this private SUV, then the payment is processed right there. It just charges my card, which is held on file with Mastercard and Stripe. Okay. So there'll be a secure login aspect. The idea is we're aggregating all the transportation. And it's not just the airport. I mean, this could work no matter where you're at, right? It could be in the city, the hotels, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just that we think there's a lot of value. And, and you know, which one was coming in? Would you get the best of the really think Is that like shipping card or which one? Yeah, so on the back end, we were, yeah, we were working, we were working on the card processing as well as the wallet. Uh, we ended up, for this demonstration, the back end is MasterCard, but to the client, we're just running through Stripe, which you guys said looks up to you guys anyways. And the reason we did that is because the API, I'm sorry, too well. <laughs> the API doesn't uh, provide a library for Lua, and it doesn't have a pure REST API, so we have to provide a pure back end. If you go in the other direction, so if you're you know, going to the airport, is that something you guys will, will be able to do as well? Oh yeah, just to clarify, I mean, uh, the, the, the production version of this is, you know, destination, uh, your current location or your pickup and destination. So it doesn't matter where you're at. I mean, like when we launch an SFO, you could be anywhere in the city or the, the Bay Area, just similar to Uber, so it doesn't matter where you're at. And how many people now, you, you mentioned like it's already available, so is that, are you like a startup? Are you being a startup? Are you, where are you in the you know, your development cycle? And how many people 
So right, right now it's just us. Uh, we're very much a startup. We're we're running kind of running out of world world right now. Uh, we're looking to close our first seed round or our first angel round rather. Um, and then once we get that, we're gonna bring on two additional engineers to help us grow out. How much are you looking to raise? Three hundred thousand dollars per Just a chip flop. Hold my wife. I'll be right back. Cool. So. Uh, um, in terms of the, uh, well, where hackathons come, I just want to make a comment about why hackathons work so well between developers and API providers. Because I know, Seb, you were like, wait, don't don't talk about what our API doesn't do. But this is one of the most important parts of hackathons. <laughs> it's this bilateral kind of no, feedback. I don't know, actually, you were mentioning the name of the company using our API that can be born. Oh, Stripe. Right, but that's that's very you know it's useful to have that feedback. So that's what API provider needs to kind of figure out how to kind of enable developers to get their jobs done. So yeah, cool. Well, thank you all very much. Yeah, thank you. Good job. Okay, so.